Okay, I've packed up, completed this activation. That is not how I thought it was going to go. Good morning, Charlie here with Red Summit RF, taking you along on my Summits on the Air adventures. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing below and hitting that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload new videos. Today I am on Mount Ord, uh, just below the summit of Mount Ord. I, I drove to the second or the upper gate and uh, I have about another mile to go to, to reach the activation zone. Once I get on top of Mount Ord, I, I intend to activate it, but I am going to participate in the Data Modes uh, Soda Flavor Challenge coming up. Over here, this is where I like to set up usually, um, right behind me over my right shoulder. Looks like there's a forest service truck here, so somebody must be up in the uh, tower behind me. If you look off to the west, let me turn the camera around, that uh, there is Horseshoe Lake and Bartlett Lake over that direction to the west. Right in here is the Phoenix Metro area off in the Hayes. And then over here to the south by southeast is Roosevelt Lake. Okay, I've arrived at my operating position. I like to come over here off the hill just a little bit. There's this little, looks like an old chicken coop. I like to put my stuff on and it's kind of in the shade a little bit. So I'm in operating position and uh, 
before I get going, I'd like to talk a little bit about what the Soda Flavors Challenge is. And basically, it's just a, a a fun little challenge that's been proposed by a few people to spice up the Summits on the Air stuff a little. So each month, there's a different flavor of soda activation. Uh, it could be like this month's uh, is a digital, uh, but they also have six meters or 180, sorry, 160 and, and 80 meters. Uh, they have DMR. I mean, there's just uh, a lot of different types of modes uh, and bands that uh, they designate for you to operate on while you're uh, out and about doing uh, summits on the air. You get points. Uh, each activation or unique active chaser, I guess it is, each unique chaser that you work on every unique peak that you work counts as a point and then you can just accumulate those points. So I intend to do some, some PSK 31. Uh, if you recall from a video I had earlier, about a month ago, I, I did a uh, uh, acoustic coupling with a, just my cell phone and the radio and, and made a contact, uh, just kind of practicing that new app that I had. Since then, I've kind of worked out some of the kinks. One of the most important that you should know if you get that app or the uh, Droid R RTTY app is that you need to make sure that all the, all the uh, sounds on your phone are turned off. If you get any sounds, it really kind of flubs things up. But... Uh, I also thought I'd make it a little easier on myself. Uh, that acoustic coupling is nice, but it uh, really I had to have a lot of different uh, hands doing a lot of different things. So I went ahead and purchased the Wolfalink um, interface. And what that does is it, uh, it it's a, just a, a plug and play where you can plug from the radio to your Android and uh, you don't have to do uh, mess with any of the uh, uh, keying up of the mic or anything. Okay, let me uh, go over what I got real quick. So this here, of course, you know I use the Yaesu 817. And that's what the Wolfalink was initially developed for. It's pretty small, but you need a uh, cable. Uh, it's a uh, six-pin mini DIN. And uh, that goes into the data port of the uh, FT817. And I didn't order the one that they sold on the Wolfalink website because it was $10. This one was five. I mean, I get a little extra cable, which I don't really need. It's a six footer instead of a three, but whatever. Uh, into the Wolfalink, which is this little plug and play box. Then uh, you have to use a uh, four pole audio jack, 3.5 millimeter audio jack to go from the Wolfalink into your Android. And then, so I'm gonna bring this Android up here in a minute and uh, uh, start working through the uh, PSK modes and uh, the antenna's right up there and I'm gonna uh, start working here in just a minute.
Why doesn't why don't you try sending from there, Tommy? I'm sending right now. Any copy? I got nothing. When I called you twice, uh, I was at 101. Let me try something else. Hold on. I see somebody else sending right now. I actually took uh, this Wolf Link apart, and I'm just doing uh, uh, I'm doing uh, acoustic coupling. I'm just going straight from my uh, my uh, my uh, cell phone to the uh, to the radio. Okay, so we've got something I want with the interface. Yep, sounds like it.
Okay, I've packed up, completed this activation. That is not how I thought it was gonna go. Uh, this was probably, well, this was certainly not one of my best activations. A lot of disappointments. So I set up my uh, system as I had showed you. I worked through the bands. I went through, I went 40, 30, 20 didn't get a single contact so then I hooked up a uh, two meter CW and didn't get a single contact so quite disappointing then I went over to sideband and I was like is anybody even out there so I went over to sideband and talked to some of the guys in the valley a couple of them said they were looking for me on two meter CW it took them a while to get set up and so I probably left before they arrived and then I uh, asked them to coordinate uh, doing a PSK uh, uh, QSO and well I, it turned out I, f I figured that uh, there, my uh, gear, my rig, the way it's set up is somehow not transmitting at all uh, or very little. It isn't getting out because they couldn't hear me. Uh, how I know that is because I unplugged everything and I went back to acoustic coupling and uh, I was able to get uh, two or three contacts that way, but uh, I have some work to do on figuring this out. I, I had uh, practiced with uh, WU7H, Josh, over in, uh, I think it's in Washington, and, and uh, uh, you know, earlier this week, and everything was working fine. But I uh, get out here on the summit and uh, no go. So, I don't know. Well, and then I, I, as I was trying to, later on in this activation, I was trying to work Josh and we were talking through Slack. And uh, I actually have a different phone that I'm using for PSK so that I can use my regular phone to send spots and to talk to people through Slack. So I didn't uh, have that phone that I was using for PSK. I had a different one. Well, that one uh, got so hot from being in the sun, because it's really hot right now, that it uh, shut down and I couldn't get it to restart. So. Then I had to go back to my other phone as a backup and use that, use the PSK droid on that phone and it was kind of a hassle to go back and forth between the uh, app and uh, talking and coordinating with Josh to see if I could get that final uh, S Summit to Summit uh, QSO with him. So anyway, long story short I guess, uh, this didn't turn out how I had hoped and uh, hopefully though I can get some footage and I guess the thing about this activation is uh, we all know that we're in this hobby for experimentation and and sometimes not uh, every experiment works to start off with and so I'll have to give it another shot but uh, this one definitely wasn't what I had hoped. Uh, I, I had success but uh, we, we got some work to do. I was able to work a full sheet on my log uh, and get some uh, some VHF and UHF contacts as well so uh, it wasn't a, a complete loss. With that, I'm gonna hike back down and uh, call it a day. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you uh, could, go ahead and subscribe below and hit that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload new videos. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, 73.